So for this problem, so a loan is to be repaid quarterly for 5 years that will start at the end of 2 years. Then if the interest rate is 6% converted quarterly, so how much is the loan if the quarterly payment is 10,000 pesos? So first, we need to list all the given. So this 10,000 pesos is the regular payment or the periodic payment, so that's R. Then since quarterly payment, so therefore, the periods of interval, that's M, is equal to 4. Then for the interest rate, that's 6% converted to decimal. This is 0 0.06. Then for the time or the terms, that's 5 years, so that's equal to 5. Then for the number of periods, so we have M times the time so we have 4 times 5 so the number of periods is equal to 20 then for the interest rate per period so we have R over M so the rate is 0 0.06 divided by 4 so the interest rate per period is 0 0.015 then to find the periods of deferral since quarterly and starts at the end of 2 years. So quarterly is 4 times 2, that's 8. Then from the formula for the periods of deferral, always minus 1. So 4 times 2, that's 8 minus 1. So the periods of deferral is equal to 7. Then this time, since we have now all the values, so we can find now the loan or the present value using this formula. So we have the regular payment, that's 10,000 pesos. Then J or the interest per period, that's 0 0.05. Then K the periods of deferral that's 7 and n the number of periods that's 20 so to find now the present value so first we need to find the value for this first group so compute first what are inside the parentheses so this becomes 1 then minus this is 1.015 so 1.015 then to the power 7 plus 20 that's 27 so to the power negative 27 equals then divide by 0 0.015 equals then times this 10,000 so this is equal to 220,676 Point seventeen, then minus for the second group so again starts with all the numbers inside the parentheses so we have 1 minus so 1.015 then to the power negative 7 then equals then divide by 0 0.015 equals then times this 10,000 so that's 65,982.14 then to find now the present value so 220,676 76.17 Minus this 65,982.14 equals so that's 154,694.03 pesos. So this is now the total loan.